Pete, Jim, and Tony both spent their 20s serving our country on the front lines during World War II. Now, almost 80 years later, you just saw them touch down from their dream flight at the Buffalo Niagara Airport. It's a program dedicated to helping veterans fly in this open cockpit biplane, the same one used by the United States in World War II. Both heroes tell me it was the adventure of a lifetime. It was great. Yeah. Uh, when I was young, I wanted to be a pilot. That's the big thing that I wanted to be. But I never, I can't see. You're good. You're good. Keep going. That's because Jim says he's colorblind and he failed the military eye test. They refused to let him fly. Oh, yeah. I didn't like it. But this Tuesday he did, and so did Tony Santiago, a sergeant who said even the heat of battle doesn't match how he feels now. I never, my dad's get the feeling that I got out there with anything else. You know what I mean? This is top of the book. This Tuesday, this Dream Flight's plane brought tears to the eyes of two World War II heroes. Its next stop is Albany, and then it's traveling across New York for another seven days before moving nationally to help change the lives of veterans in need. In Buffalo, Ryan Arbogast, 7 Eyewitness News.